I have been following Sunderland through the playoffs and I thought I'd end it off at Wembley for the playoff final versus Wigan for a place in the championship. I've learned a lot about the club but one aspect which struck out to me was how passionate the fans were, how much they love Sunderland and the commitment these people put in to go into every single game. 45,000 fans at the Stadium of Light for the first leg and now 46,500 fans travelling 276 miles to Wembley for the final. That is simply insane. I respect this fan base so much to the extent I thought I'd now travel to Trafalgar square and meet some fans but before i do i'd appreciate it if you can like and subscribe for more content like this Here we are then, I'm at Wembley Stadium for the League One playoff final between Sunderland and Wickham Wanderers. I cannot wait for this fixture, the atmosphere is going to be great. I think about 25,000 Wickham fans, maybe more. Sunderland, they're bringing 45,000 plus fans here. It's going to be predominantly red and white, but the atmosphere is going to be great. I can't wait. You can tell because I'm here a day early and I'm never here a day early. I have got to thank Limitless Hospitality for this massive opportunity for sitting in a box today. I can't thank them enough, so make sure you check them out. Link will be in the description. They've basically got access to so many games. Game Games you think you wouldn't get a ticket to but hospitality and everything you've got that covered so check them out link in the description but going back to the football Sunderland will find it quite difficult to break down Wickham I think they're going to be sitting back and waiting for that counter attack to potentially get a wonder win or something my prediction for the game I'll save it for later on but I'll tell you what it's not going to be easy for Sunderland whatsoever a one-off game anything could happen but as much as I'm back in Sunderland to win this game I really respect Wickham in a sense I've got Connor Parsons as a fellow YouTuber a good mate of mine he rose from literally playing a lowest of town my local non-league club to where I live to now playing for Wickham Wanderers which is absolutely insane so all the best to Wickham and I have nothing against your club but after the playoff adventure with Sunderland I just hope they win and go up they, they deserve to go back to where they belong but that is enough of me talking about the game it's all about what happens on the field between Wickham Wanderers and Sunderland I can't wait for this fixture as much as you guys can't wait for this fixture either for a place in the championship thank you Limitless Hospitality for the hookup today I appreciate it a lot check them out in the link in the description but it's all about the League One playoff final who will win and he'll go to the championship we will find out. When you talk about a Sunderland takeover. Yeah, they're here on a Friday. The night before, this is a proper takeover. On a Friday night, 276 miles away. Staying over for the big day tomorrow. Bearing in mind, it's only 7 p.m. It's gonna get a lot busier than this later. Jack, it's the big day tomorrow. Big Sunderland fan, we're at Trafalgar Square. But what is your prediction for tomorrow, mate? Tell me. Three ones, you're confident they're gonna go up. But who's scoring? Has to be. Here we go then boys, Jilsey and Steve. I've got a YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to the link in the description. But boys, the big day's tomorrow. What's gonna happen? Well, I think it, it's, it's not gonna be as easy as what most Sullivan supporters think. Simply because of the way Wickham play. They like to sit back and defend and defend. But for me, I'm gonna go for a Sullivan 2-0 win. I think we'll be enough too much for them. I think I think we've got too much for them. I think the way Alex Neal's got us playing, the form we're in, and how the fact that for the first time this season we've got a fully fit squad, we've got depth in, in, in numbers, so we've got a strong starting eleven, and we've got strong bench to come on. And you got the 12th man and the fans. Absolutely 4 0 Sunderland. 4 0? 4 0 Sunderland. Jesus, this guy's on one. He's been having too many of these. Two big Sunderland fans. What's going to happen tomorrow, lads? Uh, Tell me. 2 0 win. Who's scoring? Uh, Broadhead. Yeah? Oh, okay, what's yours, mate? I think three months on them. So confident? Oh. This fan base is bloody nuts. What was it 10,000 fans here, 8 pm at night? You don't really get this from any other fan base in the country, do you? I never thought I'd bump into him on a Friday night down at Trafalgar Square. Hello. Jack Beaton. Hello, hello. Right, how you doing, mate? What's, what's, what's your prediction tomorrow? It's a big one. 3 0 Sunderland, Ross Stewart's got a trick. Cool. Alright, that, that's a big prediction, mate. I can 2 1 Sunderland. 2 1. Ross Stewart and Broadhead, I reckon. Yeah. 2 0 Sunderland. Oh, 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 and I've never oh, seen a fan base like this. The night before I played a final, they've taken over Trafalgar Square. Can't wait for tomorrow, it's going to be even better now. But I've experienced and soaked up this atmosphere with Sunderland fans in the box tomorrow. It's going to be great, but look at this, it's crazy. It didn't take long till people were on the fountain. It's 
is gonna be some experience. Lads, we got a Sunderland fan and we've got an MK Dons fan. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here, but no, no, nevertheless, what's your predictions, lads? Tell me. 3 0 Sunderland. 3 Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be comfortable then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just going to say that. Yeah. We'll move on. Sunderland fan. I'm, I'm going the same as well. 2 or 3 0. Okay. I think our form is really good, but then it's typical for Sunderland to bottle it now. So, honestly. Back to the championship and where you belong. 3 1. 3 1. 3 1. 2-0! 2 Come on! Come on, the boys! Come on! Fireworks! <laughs> for the game tomorrow night. This is a pure party atmosphere. A full Trafalgar Square. The night before. It's half past ten at night. <laughs> Trafalgar Square is still absolutely rammed for the Sunderland fans. This means everything for the fans. It's a party atmosphere on a Friday night. But imagine if they win tomorrow night. Tomorrow night will be a madness for these fans and even bigger than a Friday night. Day two and it's game day. Here we go. Trafalgar Square was a madness last night. That's all about the final today. Before the big game. Predictions today, guys. 3-1 Sunderland. 3-1, who's scoring? Ross Stewart, uh, Gooch and Pritchard. Cool, that's very precise, mate. Uh, yeah, I think, um, I'd say 2-1 Sunderland. 2-1, yeah? I'd say Embleton and uh, Stewart. Nice one, mate. I went 2 1 some and then Billy Wright and Ross Stewart. Hello, mate. Come on, man. Scan the ticket, I'll tell you what. Can't wait for this experience. If I speak, I am big trouble. Oh. I don't think I've still mentally recovered from this. We're going like, right to the top, all the boxes. Now we're en route to our actual box here at Wembley. This is just nuts to experience. This is the box, Theo. Here we go. Walking out, this is just our box area. Looking around Wembley Stadium. Crazy. Padded seats and all. A brilliant view. And Sunderland fans are right, we're, we're with them all. We're with them all. I'm so excited, but thank you Limitless Hospitality for this massive opportunity. Went to both legs, home and away obviously. Crazy, but it's the finisher off now. The playoff final. Hopefully the Mackins can do it. Tyson Fury's actually been in this box. Into like all the Tyson Fury memorabilia and the gloves, everything on display. He's been in this box. Got the table set out for the meal later. Any drinks you want. The starter was very successful. It's half an hour till kickoff, and the Sunderland fans are going mental. They were mental at Trafalgar Square last night. But now this is where it matters, on the field, the playoff final, for a place in the championship. These fans, I hope they do it. And the players are coming out, Sunderland versus Wickham, for a place in the championship. The fans are absolutely up for this. If I'm going to give a prediction, I said I was going to say this moment, 2-0 Sunderland is my prediction. It's not going to be easy, because Wickham are just going to be playing ugly football. Teasing, teasing. Oh, he's got to go in. These Sunderland fans are loving it. They're well up for it now. Cracking start, at it, mate. Can't believe it. Sunderland are going to win this. 
Goes on a massive run, shoots. Goal! One nil! Oh my god! What a hit! What a goal! One nil, Sunderland. Look how much it means to everyone here. They're one and up in the playoff final. What a strike, what a hit. One nil Sunderland. And they've got the advantage in this playoff final. And it's only been 13 minutes played. And this one actually went in. Limitless hospitality, links in the description, message on Instagram, email, you name it, they will make sure they contact you back and you can be in a box with me and Theo. So make sure you do so. Details will be in the description. Give them a message and be in the box of us. Half time here, 1 0 to Sunderland. They've got the advantage, but they're halfway there. It's time to head in and have a bit of dessert. Well, the keepers have gone like that. <laughs> nah, got absolutely demolished. Second goal was vital. Now they can get it in front of the Sunderland fans. It would be huge with a good ball in. Header! Oh my god, it's just wide. That is the biggest of the in second half so far. Well, Stuart should really be scoring. Sunderland is half an hour away from the championship. Substitution right now. Second half started with this. No wicking. I definitely had the front foot so far in the second half. But it's not. Sunderland are 25 minutes away from being in a championship. Kevin Phillips is in attendance. I saw him in the first leg at Sunderland, uh, which for Wednesday actually. Good to see him at the final, obviously. The fans appreciate it. This place is absolutely erupting. Look at this place. They're so passionate. Oh my. Benoit is on the field to save the day for Wickham. Morse ground at the football. Got a little pie. It's bloody delicious. He's got a chance.
before the game for the pre-match build-up. Tonight, I don't, I don't think London know what they're in for. It could be free. He needs to square it or go by himself. Ooh! I've got to take a seat. I'm so happy for these fans. The club, the fans just don't deserve to be in League One. Too many big clubs in League One. The Southern might finally have the answer. They have got the answer to go up to the second tier of the championship now, like the fans and the club deserve. Five minutes until Sunderland are officially in the championship. Did I predict 2-0? There's a sign in it. I started from the playoffs. I've ended it here. i promoted. Just just thank me later. Ah, the squeals for full time. They just want the whistle blown. They're just waiting for the ref to blow his whistle. And Sunderland are one step further to where they belong. I've done it. They are in the championship. Pyro goes off. I'm so happy for them. goes off and I'm sure more will flow too. By now you should somehow realise what you have to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do. Congratulations. Alex Neil lifts the trophy. What an achievement Alex Neil has done with this Sunderland side since he's come in. Sunderland, a massive congratulations to you for going up to the championship. What a hell of a game. Did I predict 2-0? I think so. It's incredible to see you go up. A club like Sunderland, you deserve this. Commiserations to Wickham, of course. They do. I hope next season goes well for you. But nevertheless, Sunderland, what a fan base, what a club. I know I keep saying it, but honestly, congratulations. I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Enjoy this celebration, Sunderland. You're going to be partying hard in London. And I'll see you later. Leave a like, subscribe. And goodbye, guys. What a fan base. If you want tickets in a box with me and Theo, make sure you contact Limitless Hospitality. Links will be in the description. You'll love the experience.